Okay, my name is Maria. I am in Dr. Sims' office today. I came after meeting with Dr. Mark Cooper from Washington at our dystonia meeting in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'm here to get help with my movement disorder. I um, had a car accident in April of 2010 and then in October got really tired. Um, and then on November 10th on a plane ride quit walking. I was like a human rubber band. My body would shrink which you'll see on the video. Um, I walk like that for the first year. Um, I could not walk forward at all the first year. and um, But I could step backwards and walk backwards um, during the first year of all of this. I've seen lots of doctors. I've been to neurologists who've seen me and said, whoa, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Um, I've been to the Mayo Clinic and um, they don't really take car accidents but they did tell me I have a movement disorder and I've been to a movement disorder doctor in Albuquerque um, and then I found the Dystonia Foundation and a lot of the folks at the Dystonia Foundation have movement disorders like I do. Um, After about, after, actually, it's been two years this week that I quit walking. Um, it starts off, it starts off in my legs, all the muscles pull in and turn, and then when I get really tired, my hands and my arms turn in. Um, in the beginning, I would have spasms. Every time I would lay down or rest, I would go into lots of different body contorting spasms. I don't do that as much unless I get really stressed out or I'm in the cold or um, the weather's bad. The weather. I'm a human barometer. Um, now I'm doing much better. When I walk, most of the time it's just this leg, my left leg that'll turn in. And when I get tired, my hands will turn in, but um, I do much better. I can get through most of the day without, um, without spasms. Um, but then again, every day is different, so I never know. Um, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I'm hoarse and all of my, it's like my esophagus is being squeezed. Those are the days I know I'm going to have a bad dystonia day. And those are the days that I have lots of spasms. I can't type, I can't work, I can't use my hands because nothing, I can't walk far on those days. Um, I'm not really sure why I have those days, I just have those days. Could be weather, it could be stress, it could be tired. Um, the tongue blades though will help me not do that at all. I can walk completely normal when we use the tongue blades. I can walk forward, backward. I can even think pretty clearly when I have the tongue blades in place. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the orthotic. I'm not sure what else to say. That's good. There is one more thing that I wanted to talk about, and that was after seeing all the doctors, they, uh, there was a lot of, we don't know what this is. I spent months of going to doctor after doctor after doctor saying, I don't know why you're doing what you're doing. And um, I have been told that it's psychogenic. And <laughs> it's upsetting, very upsetting, because now that there is a treatment and these tongue blades work, if we left it at this being just psychogenic, I would have spent years in pain, walking funny, um, and I'm not out of my mind, you know, <laughs> I'm not out of my mind. Well, my friends will say that I'm out of my mind, but really honestly, I'm not out of my mind. It's not psychogenic. It is something that's going on with the body. Yes, it's in the brain. Yes, it's a part of the brain, but it's not something that you, you can't make your body do that. 
just by thinking that you can make your body do that. So I'm glad to see that there's something to show and prove that this is not a psychogenic movement disorder. Was there a physical problem that we found? We found a physical problem, yes. Um, I had braces as a child. They took out four teeth. Um, I did have a car accident in the 90s with TMJ. Um, I had gotten better from all of that. Um, I had been doing therapy and I was, before the second car accident, I was at the best of all the best of the years. Um, I also have had a history of migraines. Um, but with the MRIs that we did, we found that the TMJ, the disc, actually the mandible, is sitting up into the um, condyles, but the discs are not there. So that is what's putting pressure on the nerves that are making my body dys dystonic, if you want to call it dystonic, or spasmodic, or if you want to call it just a movement disorder. It's it's that pressure and that combination that's making my body do what it is. So it's it's not a psychogenic effect. And we, we have proof. And we do. It is in black and white. <laughs> right there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Real good. So I can walk normal. Mm hmm Around. And just, and just go to the chair and come back. And take a step backwards. So I could step out of it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Keep going. Backwards? Mm -hmm. Walk backwards? Yeah, backwards a couple of times. A couple steps. A couple steps. Keep going. Keep going. Good. You're doing fine. And now I want you to come toward me. Okay, you're going to step backward for me. Uh, I can't get the hands out of it. So that's... The hands are... That's the hands are, it hurts. The hands are hurting? Yeah. Okay. Oh, stay there. Yeah, stay right there. Okay. Alright, we're just going to put your tongue compressions in. Okay. Alright, which side? The left side? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. There you go. Okay, there's my arm, but not my hand. Not hurting. Uh-uh. They're still stuck. We should drop both. There you go. Oh. There you go. That did it. Yeah. That's why it pushes it hard. Mm -hmm. It's oh, important. Cool. It's important. Oh. Oh. Maybe. That makes sense. That's that, that, that all makes sense because you're stimulating a certain portions of the nerve. Oh. You know, each portion of the nerve has its uh, input into the brain stem. I know. That's just crazy. Alright, I'll tell you what, walk, 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 walk forward that way. Come on back. Alright, one more time. And come on back. Backward. Try backward. And forward. Oh wow. Look at that. I can do it. One more time backward. Just to make sure. And forward. Oh wow. 
No pain in my hand, nothing. Wonderful. No pain in my feet, my legs, nothing. I'm not even going to try it. It's going to hurt here either. It's all flying. Good. Good. All right. You did good. Thank you. <laughs>how far did you walk today with it in around the block <laughs> around the block yeah that's good good news i haven't done that in two years two years mm -hmm. isn't that nice mm -hmm. uh, that's all i that's all we need to know i love you. Right. you you love your husband more say hi to your hubby hi hubby good but great. i love you too <laughs> <laughs> well thank you very much thank you for life you're welcome. You're so welcome. I'm glad I'm glad to be of service. I'm not going to cry. No, you're not. You're mm -hmm. going to be okay. Mm -mm. You're going to be okay now. Mm -hmm. You're going to be all right. Yep. Anxious. All right. All right, take one more walk. Okay. One more walk. Go take a, a look around the city. I can go take a, a look around the city. I can do it. Completely normal. All right, real good. Right on. Just, just remember, bite into those spots. Okay. That'll, that'll keep you where where it should be and take the pressure off the nerve. Okay. All right. Good job.